going on guys it's your boy peter and i'm back again with another video today i'm going to be showing you guys what i do as an aircraft maintenance engineer in today's video i'm going to be working on two aircraft one is the airbus 220 and the other one is the boeing 737 for the airbus 220 i'm just doing a quick service check and the uh, Boeing 737, I'm gonna be showing you guys what I'm doing. Uh, for the service check, I usually start with my, my tire pressure. Um, and the good thing about the 220, it shows everything on the DU, which is my display unit. Um, as you can see, one of the tire pressure is being deactivated, and that is because the TPIS, which is my tire pressure indication, indicating system, is actually being defunct. Um, and one of the apprentices is gonna change that. The other thing I'm checking right now is my engine oil quantity and my APU quantity. The hydraulic system is the next thing I usually check for, which is my quantity. And for the quantity for the hydraulic system, it's always been affected depending on the um, atmosphere temperature. Um, the last thing that I'm checking right now is my crew oxygen. Like I said, that's been affected too by the um atmospheric temperature so the colder it gets the lesser you actually need so this is what a wheel wall for the 737 looks like as you can see it's so different compared to the airbus 220 that i'm used to so for today's task card i'm going to be changing the filter for the emdb which is my electric motor drive pump and that is for my hydraulic system um, for this aircraft they have two hydraulic um, reservoirs so the system A and the system B and it's a pretty easy tax um, one of the safety precautions you want to follow before removing any hydraulic system depending it does not even matter the aircraft you're working on is to depressurize the head pressure and one of the reason why is because um, you don't want 3000 PSI of hydraulic fluid spilling on you uh, whenever you remove any hydraulic line or any component related to hydraulic. Um, so the precaution you got to do is to remove the air pressure and I'm going to be showing you guys how to do that in the video. Um, this is a pretty easy tax man. It's a really easy task. It's my first time doing it but I, it's honestly it's so easy like every other task card so removing the head pressure for any for this aircraft specifically it's pretty easy all you got to do as you can see there's a nut right there all you got to do is turn that counterclockwise and that's it the and the hair for the head pressure is going to be depressurizing uh, it's really hard to see right now because the brightness is a little bit bright but you can actually hear the video the hair coming out but one of the precautions you got to do is there's always a tendency for hydraulic fluid to come out as the hair and uh, comes out and i'm telling you from personal experience because i've had that spill on me before so yeah that's only the precaution it's a pretty easy task and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this
so the next thing i'm gonna do right now is to do the inspection for the previous filter uh you want to make sure there's no type of debris or uh any type of you know extreme contamination and after that i'm going to be changing the or i'm going to be putting the new o-ring for the new filter and the whole purpose of this o-ring it's it act it act like a seal um, to prevent any type of oil leakage and for these um, filters specifically they are two oil rings and one lock ring um, you gotta change um, I could not make a video for that because you can't really see me changing it right it's really it's a really tight access um, for the installation of the new filter it's pretty easy it's really really easy so basically I like me personally I like to put it in first um, to make sure it's locked properly um, it's in place properly then I will put the cover for the filter and that's it it's pretty easy um, just like every other filter but the old things the old the the, the most important thing is the precautions you want to make sure you depress depressurize your head pressure you want to make sure you pull out the cycle breakers and I forgot to show it in the video um you actually pull out some cycle breakers um for the 3737 there's actually an hydraulic switch in the cockpit you have to switch off um I didn't show that in the video but there's a lot of precautions that's why you want to follow your maintenance manual um but yeah that's pretty much it for this uh filter installation it's an easy one um i try to make videos of what i do personally so you guys can see um my daily basis as an aircraft maintenance engineer